<laughs> Hi folks, welcome to Nessie Tainment. Today we're going to take another look at that Nikon Nikkor AF-S 80-400mm f4.5 5.6 GVR ED lens. That's a lot of words, <laughs> a lot of letters in there. Anyway, it's just because it's ending today and I want you guys to know you know, because you're like saying, ooh, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't get a, cl I want a closer look. So let's go and take a closer look. All right. First, we're going to, uh, well, that's, um, you know what, I'm going to go straight to the features right here. I'm going to look at the electronics right here. Okay, you got AM, you got MA, and you got M. Basically, that's your manual. You can switch it over there to manual or switch it back to autofocus, you know, or in the middle. Then you have your full infinity to six meters now with the full to infinity let's say if you're um, you wanting to you don't know what range you're shooting you know you can uh, have the full range or you can have infinity to six right which you can basically uh, let's say you're shooting something real close you don't want it to go beyond that scope or something you're shooting something very far away right and you don't want the full sky, you don't want the full focusing going all the way back and forth. You know, especially let's say you're shooting a seagull in the sky and it's panning in and out, you know, so you don't want the full, you don't want the full range. You got the VR system, the vibration reduction. You gotta remember, this thing is so quiet, you don't even, rem you don't even know if it's on or off, unless you put it up against your ear. Then you got your normal and active, is basically, is it an active shot or is it a you know a still shot? So you got your normal and your active. And then you got your lock right here. Now that's pretty cool because what you could do is you can, when that little yellow is on there, that means it's locked at 80 mil. You can't move the focusing, okay? So if you say, oh, I can't move my focusing, don't break the lens, all right? It's because that switch is on if you can't move it. So just remember to keep it off, all right? And that way you'll have the full zoom. Anyway, let's go around here. Let's go and take a look. Yeah, let me see the electronics first. Don't know if you can see that. It's very hard because this thing can focus on anything. It can focus on a fly. I actually took one for the photograph of that. But anyway, can you see that? Nice and clean and clear. All right. So you got your, and you see, you hear how silent this is. It's really, really silent. You know, no joke. You, you, that's, and all of it, that zoom, see how smooth that zooming is? It's very, um, it, everything is smooth. The focusing is, is, is quiet and fast. That's because it's all internal. It's all internal. It's not external. All right. So let's go and take a look at the glass. I don't know if you want to see that. Um, uh, this is very hard because I can't get any light, any light source to, to get on that. But the pins, look at them pins. That, those pins are there to communicate with the camera, all right? So that means if you have a D3500, a D3200, one of those cameras that don't have a built-in motor, you don't have to worry about it. You can use this. And then that's the glass. Yeah, look at that nice, clean, beautiful glass, clean and clear all the way through. I mean, I'm not one for, let me get your caps. You got nighttime caps here, here. It doesn't come with a lens hood and it doesn't come with the case. Okay, you're gonna have to get that yourself. Um, I know a lot of people are very picky. They want the, they want mint, 100% mint, mint, and new costs a lot. So when you get something as nice as this, and you can get it for a bargain with no holds bar, you know, no preserve, oh, well, it's up to you. Anyway, be good to yourself, and please be good to each other. I'm gonna leave it there, folks. Take care of yourself.